Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Hadoop. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about MapReduce. We are all are aware that MapReduce is an integral component of Apache Hadoop ecosystem, right? It is the uh, algorithm which is working behind the scenes of Apache Hadoop. So let's talk about it. So what is MapReduce? As I've already have stated, it's a component of Apache Hadoop ecosystem. Actually, uh, it, it along with YARN and HDFS forms the core components of Apache Hadoop, right? So it's a, uh, a very important uh, uh, part of Hadoop which processes the data for you, right? And I've already have conveyed that it's the algorithm which was defined or developed by Google back in 2004, right? They have uh, published one research paper, right, uh, uh, on this. So which leads to the evolution of Apache Hadoop and MapReduce, right? So it is a, it's a very important component of Hadoop, right? And it's a, we all know that Hadoop is a framework which enhances massive data processing. So there are two important tasks, two primary tasks in MapReduce. One is Map, one is Reduce. That's why it, we call it as MapReduce. It's consisting of two uh, important uh, phases, we can say, Map and Reduce. So uh, Map uh, comes first and Reduce comes later on. So what happened in the Map, guys? In the case of map, we divide the data into small chunks because uh, the thing is the principle of Hadoop or principle of this MapReduce is to divide the data and then process the data parallelly, right? We'll be dividing the data into small parts, gives this uh, small parts to the multiple nodes and let the multiple nodes do the computation in parallel. And then later on, we can merge the results, right? This is the principle on which Hadoop or MapReduce works on. So uh, map uh, job is to split the input data into chunks, then reducers uh, take that output of map as an input, right? Uh, then it will be uh, doing the concept, doing the process of aggregation, right? So the reducers will give you the final output and mapper or map will take the input, right? Then the reducers will take the, give you the output, right? So how the map reduce works in the Hadoop, right? So guys, MapReduce architecture must consisting of multiple components. I have listed in it in our upcoming slides. Let's talk about it. First of all, before we go uh, to this uh, different component, this is the how the things look like, right? In the case of uh, MapReduce, we are having a lot of uh, actors available which perform the, uh, which do the important role, which includes job tracker, task tracker, input format, uh, then we have this uh, output format, then we have sorting, shuffling. So we'll talk about all these things in, in the upcoming slides, guys. This is the general overview, how the MapReduce look like behind the scenes. So first, uh, before we jump to the MapReduce functioning or MapReduce working, let's first talk about the important components uh, of this, right? First is job. Actually in the Hadoop, uh, whatever we process, we, we process in the form of job. Right? Yeah, like in the case of driver class also, when we uh, write a Java program, we specify the uh, job name over there. So job is, is the nothing but the actual work that need to be executed or processed. So in the case of Hadoop terminology, the work uh, uh, will be called as job. Then this job will be divided into multiple parts and uh, this small parts are called as a task. So it has been defined like it's a piece of actual work, right? So the bigger task, a bigger thing is called job and these, uh, the subset of it, it's called as a task. Then we have job tracker. Guys, the job tracker and task tracker, these are the diamonds of MapReduce, like name node, data node, and secondary name node are the diamonds of SDFS. In the same way, job tracker and task trackers are the diamonds of MapReduce, which, we, which you can see under the JPS command, right? So the first is job tracker. What is job tracker? This tracker plays the role of scheduling jobs. So it is the scheduler for you, right? And actually it tracks all the jobs assigned to the task tracker. So you can think like it's a master here in the MapReduce. Then we have a task tracker. The task tracker plays the role of tracking the task, reporting the status to the job tracker. So whatever the job tracker has instruct to task tracker, task tracker has to revert. Like what's the status of those uh, those jobs or those uh, that work which has been assigned to the task tracker. Then we have an input data. The data which is uh, the input data means which is used to process in the mapping phase. It's like a, a input to the mapper, right? Then we have an output. Output is the result of mapping and reducing. So generally we call it as input and output data, but the uh, output of a mapper is called as an intermediate output. It's not a final output, but the uh, out, uh, reducers output, it's called as a final output. 
then we have a client so what is client it's a program that submits job to the map reduce right this is we call it as a client then we have a hadoop map reduce master so this plays the role of dividing the jobs into the job parts means like the bigger job has to be divided into smaller parts and this job parts are nothing but the sub jobs which or we can say say it like it's a subset of the bigger job that results from a division of a main job so these are some of the terminologies that we use in hadoop map reduce now so how the map reduce in hadoop works now let's talk about it now in detail in the map reduce architecture the client submits the job to map reduce master obviously the master will uh, accept the uh, request like uh, which has been sent by client so this master will then subdivide the job into small sub parts as i already have told you this is the principle of hadoop or map reduce to divide the bigger thing into small parts then this job parts will be used for the two main task first is mapping next is reducing so guys in the case of mapping you define your logic like uh, when we write a program of map reduce uh, like we have a three phases available mapper reducer driver in the mapper phase we define our custom logic right whatever the uh, problem you are solving using map reduce you have to uh, write its custom logic in the, the map right so the input data will be split and mapped so in this uh, mapper phase your input data will be splitted as well we have to define the split option over there whether the data is uh, splitted with respect to a comma or the space or some other delimiter we are using so we have to split and we have to map in this phase so the intermediate data will be then sorted and merged so the intermediate data means the data the output the data which we got from a mapper right it is partial output it's not a final output because it has still has to undergo uh, the reducer in other phases so the reducer that will generate a final output stored in a hdfs will process the resulting output as i've already told you the final result you'll get from a reducer and it will be stored in a hdfs behind the scenes so this is the uh, different steps that uh, the data has to gone through in map reduce first we have a input the input uh, will be in the form of key value pairs we we'll talk about it in a next slide then we have a map phase available where we define a custom logic then we have a shuffling and sorting shuffling means uh, transporting your data from mapper to reducer sorting means sort uh, the results in some uh, in uh, with respect to uh, maybe we can say order by kind of a order by clause of sql that we have to sort the data then we have a reduce which do the final aggregation and uh, then we get the output which will be stored in a hdfs now so the uh, how the job trackers and task trackers work as i've already have told you these two are the diamonds of map reduce so the job tracker acts as a master like in the case of your hdfs la, the name node act as a master here the job tracker act as a master it ensures that we all execute the jobs right and the job tracker schedules job that has been submitted by clients i've already have uh, said uh, earlier in this uh, in this video like uh, the the job the job tracker role is to schedule the jobs right which is has been submitted by the clients and it will assign those jobs to the task tracker so the the task tracker report the status of each assigned job to the job tracker so <coughs> the whatever the role the data node play in the hdfs <coughs> the same kind of role played by the task trackers in the map reduce so the the task tracker has to uh, revert to the job tracker regarding the status of whatever the work which is has been assigned to the uh, task tracker from the job tracker guys this is how the things look like you can see like in this case we have a job tracker we have a task tracker so it has been highlighted here that job tracker uh, responsibility is to schedule the jobs keep track of the live task trackers means which are available which are not available right monitor the jobs what's the status of the jobs and on the other side the task tracker runs the map and reduce task reports to the job tracker so the task tracker has to uh, uh, revert to the job tracker so what are the different phases of map reduce right the map reduce program is executed in different phases although i have mentioned here only three but we have a multiple uh, phases available as well but the the main are mapping shuffling reducing and we do have one more phase called combiner so mapping means uh, as i've already have told you where the data will be splitted and we, have, we will be performing map operation where we write the custom logic shuffling uh, where we have to transport data from map to, to reduce reducing means aggregation combiner meaning is combiner is called as a mini reducer uh, whatever the uh, role reducer is playing the same role is played by the combiner but at a local level 
so it is called as a mini reducer so in the mapping phase what we perform what we do let's discuss in uh, more detail a data set is split into equal units called chunks and these chunks are called as a input splits in the hadoop terminology we don't use the word chunks we we say it as a input split all right then the hadoop consists of record reader rr that uses the text input format by default hadoop make use of this format text input format uh, which use the key as byte offset value as a entire line to transform input split into key value pairs because the mappers the map only uh, understand the key value pairs right so we all know that uh, in a map reduce everywhere uh, you, you talk about any of the phase we talk in the in the in the form of a uh, key value pair so as i already have told you the text input format is the default input format in which key will be byte offset and value will be entire line now the mapping step cons uh, consists of the coding logic or a custom logic and th in this uh, step the mapper processes the key value pairs and produces the output of a same form key value pairs it means it accepts the input as a key value pairs and give you the output as a key value pair but the input and output will be different all right so uh, the data which is coming to the mapper okay it has to be in key value pairs the mapper performs some some kind of logic over there and it will generate some partial output which will be also be in the form of key value pair here comes the shuffling phase this is the second phase that take place after completion of mapping phase it consists of sorting and merging shuffling as i already have told you we have to now send the data from the map to the reduce this is called shuffling and it consists of sorting and merging sorting as i already have uh, told you that we have to sort like in the case of your sql we have a order by clause available the same way we have to uh, this key value pairs we have to sort using the keys and then merging ensures the key value pairs are combined as well right the shuffling phase facilitates the removal of duplicate values and grouping of values the different values with key, uh, similar key, keys are grouped obviously we want that uh, whatever the keys we have generated right whatever keys we have got from a mapper it has to be combined okay with respect to a particular key right so let's suppose if we are having a data uh, let's suppose uh, we are we are doing the word count right we have a uh, characters available a b c d e and we are calculating the uh, count of number of a's number of b's so let's suppose the uh, mapper has generated a comma 1 then uh, again a comma 1 again a comma 1 so we have to combine those right we have to combine those so this is the point right then we have a reducer phase so in this reducer phase output of a shuffling phase is used as a input right so or, or in other words we can say whatever the mapper has generated right its output becomes input to the reducer so reducer processes this input further to reduce the intermediate values into smaller values because here the final aggregation take place it's called reducer so guys here i have taken the uh, very common very popular word count pro, uh, pro, uh, process you can see at the input we have this uh, string available dog cat mouse first we have split the data with respect to some uh, separator some delimiter then we are defining the mapping because we have to find how many time the dog is coming how many time cat is coming and how many time mouse is coming so we are having that dog comma 1 cat comma 1 mouse comma 1 so this is the done in the mapper phase then we have a shuffling shuffling in which we are trying to keep all the particular keys the similar keys at one place you can see here then in the reducer we are just uh, doing the final addition final aggregation at last the things got merged back right now guys on summarizing let's talk about everything in uh, under the one hood you can see at the left side we have a file available then we are having blocks available uh, because we all know that the default block size we use is 128 mb this is called 128 mb then we have a input format input format as i've already have stated we use text input format as a default input format but we do have other formats as well then we have a split the data is splitted into small parts and that that data uh, that small part will be going to rr means record reader which will convert that input split into the key value pairs and uh, after the key value pairs it will be forwarded to the map map we we do the things like uh, custom logic and the mapper's output which is intermediate output will be stored in the hdfs then it will be forwarded to one of the another phase which i haven't uh, talked about in this video but we do have this phase available called partitioner actually guys the partitioner uh, 
has has two roles to play first is it generate the list of values against every key right and then it also give you the address of the reducer as well if you are having more than one reducer available then partitioner will let you know we, uh, where data should go to the which reducer so it will also give you the address or the it will uh, route to the particular reducer right although in the video we have uh, we have just uh, covered this topic under the combiner itself but if we have a partitioner available although in the when we write a map reduce program we we hardly define partitioner right because but behind the scenes partitioner is also playing its own job but we don't have to explicitly define it right but uh, but for your uh, understanding for your knowledge i can tell you that by default we make use of hash partitioner right as a partitioner then we have a shuffling right shuffling means as i've already told you we have to uh, take data from map to reduce then we have in between we have a sorting uh, with respect to keys then uh, we have a reducer available uh, reducer means uh, like reduce means again final aggregation then we have a record writer the the way, the way uh, rr is available the same way we have a record uh, record writer available it means the same thing will be now reversed then we have a output format available and it will be stored in the hdfs so guys this marks the end of this video i hope uh, whatever i have explained in this little short video of map reduce you must have understood in case if if you find something is not clear or something i have said it wrong please do comment right i'll be uh, welcoming all your comments thank you guys see you in next video